Uh, welcome back to the soapbox. You're here with your boy Sonny Tay, Quarantine. You feel me? We got Chef Key, Chef Key, Chef Keen. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> Chef Keen, Chef Keen, bro. Chef Keen. We got Jalisa, who just burped in the cut, and we got, got Ron. <laughs> All right, why you gotta? <laughs> oh, my bad, my bad, my bad. <laughs> and we got Karan exposing niggas out here. And nothing new. We're in the comfort of our home, yo. We can I'm do whatever. Saying. How are y'all doing, bro? It's been like five years since I seen y'all. I was quarantining, you know what I mean? How's y'all life, mental health, and all that? Let's start with Chef Keem. Chef Keem, how you doing, man? Oh, I'm chilling. Yeah. In the house. How's your <laughs> mental health, bro? Huh? How's your yeah, mental, health? mental health? Yeah, I want to make sure you're good. I'm chilling, bro. I'm just bored. Mm. Honestly. Um, I don't know. It's like all the stuff that you tell yourself that you want to do when you got time. Mm-hmm. You just don't even end up doing that shit. You just end up watching movies all day. Why is that? Why do you think that? I don't know. It's, it's probably because whatever... Because there's so much time in the day. So mm-hmm. whatever was in your head that was causing you to put it off before, it's probably the same thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. Jaleesa, how you doing, man? What, man? How you doing? I just want to quit my job. Mm. How's how's working through this pandemic been going? Oh, God, you still work at the clinic, right? Yeah, y'all. Like, it's just... I just, I'm close to Jaleesa. I'm close to Jaleesa. But there's like nobody working either. Like they're like half of the staff is gone. So like everything is put on everybody else that's working. That's still working. Damn. So I just wanna like leave, but I can't <laughs> I'm stuck. I feel you. Are you guys getting paid? Paid? Like double like time to have no, something? No, not. <laughs> I work for a non profit. We don't get paid extra money. Hey shit. It might be yeah. more profitable if you just like file for unemployment <laughs> Yo, <laughs> no, that is so crazy that you said that because I was that's 600 a week man an extra 600 extra 600 oh. on top of the regular unemployment mm. well, we was just having this conversation at my job like because i was supposed to be i was supposed to be furloughed at my job actually but they spared me <laughs> No, you tight. <laughs> at first, at first, I was happy because I was like, "Wow, I'm not about to be out of work." No, you know what? They weren't even gonna furlough me. They were gonna permanently like let me go, but they were like, "No, nah, we need you." And then I took yeah. it as a good thing, but now I'm just like, yeah, cause "You're like, yeah, I got a job." I mean, you see everybody's checks rolling in, bro. Like that exactly. Like we was just having this conversation talking about. If we weren't working, we would get paid way more than what we were getting paid. That's a fact. I'm making more than I was making working. Oh, not so bad. A little vacation. I, that's good. That's good. <laughs> and Nikima already, Nikima was already paid, so he was bad. good before. He has money. So now, so now he's really paid. good now. Yeah, I got the bucks. <laughs> Ron, how you doing, Boy. man? How the are you doing about, this quarantine? I was about to knock on the king's door, man. I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, <I got> that. <laughs> they say he's doing too well. They're going to look at his car and say he's doing too well. <laughs> I know I'm chilling, though, man. I'm chilling, man. I'm I'm trying to make the best out of this quarantine thing, man. Mm-hmm. I'm just trying to make the best out of it. But yo, I have a question, though. Do y'all really, like, do y'all be going to, like, parks and stuff? Or just, yeah, like, I went to one day. When it's warm. It's not warm, but I'm saying here, honestly. Nah, I go for drives. I'll be in the car. Yeah, I was, I was just about to say, lately I've just been going for drives. You know, like, yeah, that's the oh, safest man. place, yo. Yeah. That's facts. He's in the safe place. <laughs> for real, you don't got to get out of the car. Nope. Nah, tell us <laughs> time to get gas. When it's time <laughs> to get gas, that's when I start to get worried, bro. Don't worry, I got my mask and my gloves. Me just to pump gas? My- Bro, my mask is so trash, yo. I don't know. I don't know if y'all can see this. My what mom is that? I don't like that. <laughs> bro, what is that, bro? Yo, it's you like know, you know, you gotta have a mask, right? Yeah. yeah. Walking. I went to quick check today just to like clean my car because that's how bored I am. I'm just like cleaning my car for no reason. And like I walked in and the, they like everybody just looked at me and it was like, no, sir, you're not supposed to be in here without a mask. I'm like, oh shit, my bad. Yeah. Mm. I didn't even know that. Yeah, you gotta have on a mask now. 
For real. You yo, make sure you keep that mask on. It's like a thousand dollar fine if you don't. Really? That's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, you lucky there was no cops around because they would have fined you on the Especially spot. Goshen. Them niggas want to lock up somebody. They need that money. <laughs> I, got their photo. I had no idea until today. That's crazy. Like You don't watch the news about it? Well, I know that I know in the city they're in the force and like I didn't know like upstate where there's more room. Like it's all over the United States, I think, actually. Okay. I know I know in the city they were like really enforcing it. Mm, okay, okay, okay. But what if you don't have one? Like, what if you can't find any anywhere? <laughs> you can't leave the crib, yeah, nigga. Yeah, well, you cover like, you don't need, it doesn't have to be, like, an yeah, N95, but you gotta you cover it. You just have to cover it, yeah. I've seen people, like, with bandanas and, like, shirts, like, yeah. walking, so, I mean, mm-hmm. I don't know. What do y'all, what do y'all feel about the, um, what they're saying, uh, May 15th, they're gonna try to start to open things up May in the U.S.? 15th? Um, no, I think it's just gonna keep getting pushed and pushed. Well, it just depends on the area you're in, um, because like even in Florida, like they started to open up the beaches again, and you know you saw there was a problem because mad people were starting to flock to the beaches. So, yeah, they stupid. I, I think yeah, yeah but, that's really dumb. They made it hot for everybody, but um, and, for like, yeah, go ahead, York. my bad. <laughs> in New York, they're not gonna open like uh, up here. You know what I mean? And yeah. leave the city locked down. They're going to leave the whole state locked down. Mm. Like, we'll probably be, us in California will probably be the last ones to really get back up and running. Because um, mm. Trump was saying, um, basically, like, it's up to the governors to, like, if they need to be shut down longer, they can be. You know, <clears throat> excuse me. People were saying this, um, it just depends on the area you're in. They're going by percentage, like, um, the percentage of like the hospitals bagged up in the area and the percentage of like people who actually are infected. So they were saying like actually May first, like um smaller like towns in the USA are gonna start to open back up. But, so but Orange County ca- probably gonna get pushed back. But Orange County has one of the highest in this area. Yeah. But yeah. even like that though, like I don't think I don't think it's by area. Like I think it's by state. Because you gotta think they can't just open up one section of a state, then everybody's just gonna flood to that yeah. section. But yeah. some states are just so big, like you can't just go to another end of the state, you know? True. Yeah, true. True. true you true, know, true. even if there's like people in Buffalo, if the, the say the the infection rate is low in Buffalo, like they can't keep all the Buffalo closed. I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. As of as of right now, I just um received a letter from uh my quote unquote job um that they're saying right now June first is gonna be the date for New York City, but everybody knows that or thinks it's gonna get pushed back. But as of right now, they're saying June first, but it can always June get pushed 3rd? back. Yeah. yeah, I'm thinking shoot more for like everybody being good for like July fourth. Mm, just in time. Oh, because my, birthday. my birthday's July 6th. I can't in the house. <laughs> that's what, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking it's going to be like some like 4th of July miracle. We can all go back out. Everybody's healed. Bro, the streets during that time is going to be crazy, bro. Crazy. But that would be a lit summer. Like yeah. everybody outside. Like Oh, facts. Well, well, you know, they're actually doing, um, they're doing tiers. So they have three tiers. Um, starting from like May, June, they're doing tier one. And that's when like, you're only allowed like 10 or no more than 20 in a room. And then like, they're going to do that for a little bit. And then they go to tier two where then you'll be allowed to do more stuff. But it just like depends. Like I was watching like Cuomo say that shit today. So, mm. I mean, even when they start letting people out, like they're still going to be very strict, but it's just not going to be more than like 20 people in a room. And that's, that's where people are saying the problem, like when it comes to people going back to work, because a lot of people work in buildings where there's more than 20 people. So yeah. it's going to affect people, you know, like jobs are going to be really limited on hours and the amount of people who can actually be there. So, you know, that's like the big problem. Yeah. Um, see, even with that, that's, that's a huge problem. That's like part of the reason why <laughs> jobs closed when they did before, because yeah. my job closed the week before they shut everything down. Mm-hmm. Because, um, because 
it was like uh, the the rule at that time was like you had to cut seventy five percent of your workforce mm. just to keep the numbers in the factory small. Mm. But that they would be losing money if they stayed open with just twenty five percent of the workers. Mm. So exactly. Closed, you know what I mean. There's a lot of places going out of business too, like for good. Yeah, a, l- a lot of mom and pop shops. Crazy, yeah. man. Crazy. Yeah, yeah, it's been it's been crazy. Even like the loans that they're saying for small businesses that'll be forgiven, mm. they're not giving any guarantees that those loans are going to be forgiven. Mm. That's crazy. Yeah. So you're just saying it, and then I don't know. I take the loan, and five years down the road. Yeah, the IRS is knocking on my door like, yo, where's my money at? That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, so then you're just better off closing your business. I I mean, they are giving, like, a lot of bailouts and stuff, but, like, it's very, like, strict, the criteria. Um, It's been, like, my mom actually works for, like, a bank, and, like, she handles, um, like, accounts for small businesses and, like, large businesses. So, like, a whole bunch of people have been, like, blocking her and, like, calling her and, it's like it's very strict criteria of who's like allowed to bail out money. So they are like giving a lot, but I don't know. It's like it's it's just a big ass problem. It's crazy, man. Yeah. It's crazy. I think you gotta like be like certain shit. Like you gotta be like big enough and stuff. Like certain amount of employees. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. So do but, it's uh, so, Yeah, my, my dad. Part, he works. Oh wait, are we still on this topic? Or no? Yeah, yeah. We didn't. Even, we didn't. Even, that was it. Even go. Oh, well, yeah. Go I do. Nah, don't worry about me, bro. Nah, bro, bro. I I do. Do. <laughs> you been, you, you been with Shardy the whole time? Y'all been, nah, bro. Y'all been I locked up? Actually. I haven't, actually. I haven't. I haven't. I actually saw it before this uh, got bad. So that was good. But um, you know me, bro. I'm chilling. Like, you I don't know, mind you being know, home. You know me. Me. Home. Um, no. Man, we don't know you. That's what I'm saying. Nah, but um, I've been actually doing good, actually. Like, I've just been chilling. I've been watching shows. I've been working on, like, getting this potting thing right, like, as far as, like, editing and shit like that. But um, I've actually learned a lot about myself during this quarantine, and it's actually dope. Um, Quran actually what put happened? me on to a hustle, which I respect to Quran. Actually, let's get an air home for Quran real quick. Oh, what I do? I'm just giving you props. This is the only time I'm giving you props, so you better take it. Um, Quran is actually showing niggas, like, yo, if you want shit to happen, you got to make shit happen. During this quarantine, nigga Quran is still pushing out his product and That's everything. Good. So I fuck with that heavy. So when I saw that, I'm Appreciate like, damn, it. this nigga's still pushing out his shit, doing all this, like, quarantine and everything. I mean, granted, you're not really doing nothing, but just, I mean, it is, you're still exposing yourself. You're still going <clears> to the <throat> post office. And putting the stuff in the mailbox or whatever, but yeah. that's still not stopping your hustle. So I fuck with that. So it made me realize, like, yo, like I got, I can't just sit here and wait for shit to happen. You know what I mean? Like I need to go and do shit. And I see other creators doing shit as well. Like people saw me making YouTube channels. People saw me making like accounts, workout videos. Like I fuck with that. So I'm seeing a lot of like positive stuff on my feed and in my, in the people in my life. They're doing, they they're making the best out of this quarantine. So I like that. Um. But yeah, I'm actually not tripping over it. I don't watch the news about it. I don't really know about what's going on. I get it from my mom. Whatever she tells me, I know about. But you I don't like watch, watch it. <laughs> Honestly, I don't want to watch it because I feel like a lot of people's mental health is getting fucked up by seeing like, like, because my mom watches it from night to from um, morning to night, bro. I That's can't, too much. I can't do that. I feel like yeah. that messes up with your mental health and shit. Fucks with your mind. Like, I can't do that. Shit. I mean, not you. Well, I mean, Couple days, but nah, it's every day, nah. Like this whole week, she watches it. This whole week. Mm. Well, we're supposed to hit our peak this week, I think, coming up. Like it's supposed to plateau this week. Yeah. Yeah, nah, yeah, I think of course. it did, no. Wait, so no, I think it did already. Yeah, it already um, did. Like the number um, of deaths each day has been going down. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I think today they said like the, excuse me, the uh, infection rate went down. So, it's something, I guess. But glad to see y'all doing well. You know what I mean? Oh, Dante. Oh, here we go. On the point that you were making mm-hmm. about feeling so inspired. 
You know what I mean? And Karan mm-hmm. being so inspired, moving his product. Yeah. What's so, up so before before the shutdown? When I was telling y'all when this corn when this Corona was starting to heat up, I was like, "Yo, let's make twenty minute, thirty minute videos mm-hmm. and just pump them out." Like shit, shit, like it doesn't have to be edited up. You know what I'm saying? Just yeah. us like bullshit. Mm-hmm. Nobody said nothing to me. <laughs> you act like yeah. you see the messages. Yeah. I, I don't remember. Yeah, that. I, I supported you. This was right before, actually. Um, yeah, me and the King, we were low key talking shit behind you. Was no, I around? Was I around? No, this is, I don't remember this. No, this is right before you. Uh, I went, went South Carolina. We went down south. Yeah, you know, we were we were ready to push out this content, man. Just this was during the, po- the other podcast. No, this uh, this um this year before the this, quarantine shit got worse. It was before all of it when I sent the messages. Like mm. we were talking about it. Me and Karan were talking about it before you left down to down south. Mm. But um. I sent the message before, like before we were even talking about it, like before, before shit went on lockdown. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. When it was just uh, when it was just like the clubs and shit closed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't remember that. That should have been me. Right. <laughs> I mean, of course you don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember that at all, bro. Dante, you was just ready for your vacation, man. You wasn't thinking about no content. <laughs> Yo, that South Carolina vacation hit, bro. That shit was needed. That's did it? Did it? Oh, yeah, yeah. Did you go to the beach? No, nah, nigga, the beach was closed. What you mean? <laughs> it was closed when you went down there. Yeah, yo, South Carolina. Like last Carolina, week, yo. Yeah. No, he didn't. He went like three weeks ago. I went last week. I was there for two weeks, but I and went, it was I shut was down. There. So, like, they shut down the beach because of this, or it's yeah, because of this. Oh, yeah. so why were you down? Because by the beach, they had like the most cases in South Carolina. I think it was either that, it was either Motor Beach or Charleston, one of them two. And well, where did you go in? I was in Sumter. That's like in the South South, where ain't nobody fucking around. You feel me? What made it? What made it so great? Why was it uh, so uh, needed for you? It's a different vibe in South Carolina, bro. Like people down there, like they know about the virus, but it's not like New York when niggas just run around like cats and dogs. You feel me? Like they're like, yes, yeah, a virus. So people got on their masks, they got on their gloves, but people are so like going out, like, running. People are still, like, talking to... Like, people are still talking to each other. It's, like, it's not such a... It's a different vibe. Like, you know about the virus, but, like, I guess the fact, the fact that it's so nice out, you could just walk down the street or walk to the lake, go fishing. It's, like, you could do a lot of other stuff down south while you're quarantining. In New York, you can't do much but just go to the park. Nah, it's I mean, And it's cold. That And it's cold here, too. So it's yeah, like, you can't go outside. Yeah. That's that's why I feel like the city so is so empty right now. Mm-hmm. Like if you uh if you drive through Manhattan, bro, it's like, empty. Empty, bro. Like compared to what it is. Yeah. I'm talking about rush hour. There's like traffic is flowing beautifully. Wow. Like, like, bro, I haven't no been cars. I haven't been to the city in so long. I can't bro, even like. I'm just saying like, like five o'clock, so five o'clock, six o'clock on the West Side Highway. Yeah. Like, it is flowing. It's empty. Empty, like that's crazy. You're speeding down, down the highway. That's fine. I meant to ask my dad yeah. if it was like that because he, he's been, you know, it's crazy because my dad works in the city, so he's been leaving out later actually in the morning because he'll have to be at work by eight, so he'll leave like six. Like, mm-hmm. I think the other day he left like around 6 30. Yeah. yeah, wow. Hold on, I gotta unlock. Oh, no the traffic on the George Washington. Yeah, good. Yeah. Um, what was I gonna say? Um, I forgot what I was gonna say. Oh, I was saying, um, yeah. in the, I feel like it's so empty because it's still cold out. Mm-hmm. Once, once the sun hits, yo, New York streets are gonna be flooded. Oh, fast. That's when there's gonna, that's when there's gonna be a problem. I'm not gonna. <laughs> Keep people inside. It's not gonna disappear oh. out of nowhere, though, and that's what people gotta understand. Like, yeah, but that's what I'm saying. People don't care. They're they're only not going outside and they're accepting it because it's still cold. So it's like whatever. But when summertime comes and it's warm, it's a wrap. Yeah. It's a wrap. That's what like, well, I'm listening to that shit. Yeah, because I was just talking to Mev, and she was like, "Yo, when it gets warm, we should just still go out because it's like." Like, why, like, nobody's going to stay in their house in the summer or late spring. Like, nobody. 
Like that's like the nicest time of the year. Like, well, I mean, Dante was saying like it's different down south, but like we're in upstate New York. Once the weather starts getting nice, there's places you can go where there's not a lot of people. Like yeah. if you drive thirty minutes like yeah, up north, but nah, there's... see, that's what you think. You think there's you're gonna go somewhere and there's not gonna be a lot of people, but you don't even know because you'll go to the trail. <laughs> And it'll, it'll be, be packed. Like, like you'll, well, I'm gonna go for a hike. It's usually empty. Yo, I went to a trail today. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah. That's a trail you just said, right? Yeah. It, oh, yeah. How do you know? You saw my story today? No, oh, you just, just said it. <laughs> <laughs> wait, what? Wait, Nakeem, what did you say? No, you we heard just you. Say you went said. to the trail? Oh, I thought you said the name of the trail. But oh, I, went, nah. I, said, I went to. um this trail over in Highland and it was mad packed like it was like at least like going back and forth I've probably seen at least more than 50 people Damn. yeah I went to Minnewaska like a week ago and yeah, I mean it wasn't yeah. like packed it wasn't packed but there was people out like and there was like park security there and like he was like giving us directions and like they weren't tripping that there were people there but it wasn't like everybody was trying to keep the distance. So, like, I think that's that's fine. Like, if you're outdoors and there's like people there, as long as you're not like running up on people and like talking to people, it's cool to go on hikes and runs and on um, go to lakes and stuff. Just keep your distance. So, I have a question for the people in the relationship in the Zoom room. You feel me? So, has this quarantine tested y'all relationships bond? And everything. How y'all? How have y'all adjusted y'all relationships during this quarantine? Um, I mean, it's been cool. Like, you definitely. I probably. I think I probably see my like. I see Milan less than like if everybody was out. But I mean, I don't know. I don't think it affected it that much. Mm -hmm. I still probably see him almost as much. We just chill in the house. We just can't go out, you know. But now, like, I try to like do stuff, like go to hikes. Like, I try to like force her to like go exercise. Cause I, like, I can't stay in my house. Like, I'll go crazy if I stay in my house. So, like, I'm always like, I'm always like just going to parks or like just driving around. Yeah. <laughs> trying to look for things to do. Mm -hmm. I leave like every day or every other day. Like, that's only... crazy. For real? Yeah, but I don't leave my car. You just be driving. Yeah. I feel you, I feel you. Bro, this is a perfect time to, like, just go work out and stuff, man. Like, go find a track, go, like, hiking, go running. Not right. Right. It is, it is, but it's still cold outside, bro. I'm all right. Yeah, I'm not running in the cold. Like, tomorrow could be, like, tomorrow's be, like, 65 degrees. I might go outside on the court and shoot a little something, but. Oh, yeah, no, I'm about to, like, drag Milan out the bed to go hiking tomorrow. It's about to, it's about to be, like, mad nice. No. Um, yeah, no, I was thinking, um. I think I'm gonna start start a little workout regimen. Okay. <laughs> Might as well. Yeah, nah, yeah. just cause just cause I'm thinking like I'm getting paid to do nothing. Yeah. So I might as well just make like get serious about the workout like it's my job. Mm -hmm. So it'd be like I'm getting paid to work out. That's, wow. Mm -hmm. I like yeah. that. <laughs> I like that. Jaleesa, how are you doing, man? Yeah, how's how your relationships? Doing? Uh, well, okay, so when this first started, Aaron stopped working at least two weeks before, like, the lock in, a lockdown. No, maybe it was longer than that. Oh, so, but, okay, because the commons cut, shut down, right? The, when did the commons close? I have Do no you idea. Do not remember? I don't. They closed, like, um... They closed, like, like the probably first, a week. Like, 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 like March 15th. Nah, they closed, like, like the March week. 15th. Yeah, it was early March, and I remember Aaron was like yeah like they closed the commons but they were already cutting his hours i think before that and then just some days he just wasn't coming in and then all of a sudden they closed so march 14th i just started seeing aaron maybe like last week so, so i didn't see be, aaron for like being, a whole month he was being cautious huh nah but you gotta understand like aaron doesn't live with anyone so like if something was to happen to him like nobody low-key would not know like if he was sick or anything like so 
I feel him. Like, at first, I was like, wow, you really don't want to see me. But then again, like, I'm working. My dad's working. So that's two people coming in contact with people that have the coronavirus. Mm -hmm. And then my mom, she was working every other day. And then they finally told her, like, oh, you don't have to go to work. So at that time, it was like three of us out just interacting with people. So he he was telling me that he was like y'all are working y'all, like y'all might have it like the thing the thing about this um this disease is that it, everybody reacts to it differently so like some yeah. people may be asymptomatic some people might react to it really bad some people might react to it like as if it's a flu like that's why mm-hmm. people are like random people are dying like at all ages so it's like Aaron, like I could be eight, I could probably have it right now and be asymptomatic. But then if I was hanging out with Aaron and he got it, he might not react to it the same way I'm reacting to it. Mm-hmm. So like that's that's how we were taking it. So I didn't, yeah, I didn't see him for a month. I was a little sad, you know, like because I feel like he was gonna, I didn't feel like he was gonna break all of me, but I just that'd be wanted, crazy. If somebody broke up with the girl because of the quarantine, that'd be crazy. Like, yo, I'm not no, sure it's happening. But this really kind of did like test our relationship just to see like if we can go not seeing each other for like a long period of time. Because some, I know, I'm pretty sure there's couples out there that can't stand to not be with each other. Mm, that's a good segue. Look at that. At least we a segue. You feel me? So that brings up the next question that I want to bring up to you guys, which I'm intrigued about what y'all going to say. Hold on, my dad. I'm going to mute you guys for a second. I'm mute you too. Um, <laughs> what am I going to say? <laughs> <laughs> so do y'all think that, Karan King, do y'all think a relationship should be full-time or part-time? It depends on the type of relationship, I guess. What do you I prefer? Can't. What do you prefer? <laughs> Bruh, I, I'm, I can't imagine going to my girl and be like, yo, we just got a part-time relationship. She'd probably start I, fire out of me. I, but you have a part-time relationship, Karan. You know that, right? What do you mean by part-time relationship? I mean... I, I'm about to explain it to you. So a full-time relationship to me is you see each other a lot. like. Out like the seven days of the week, you guys probably see each other probably five to six, right? Um, you guys, you every decision that you make, you have to consult your partner with. Um, like every decision. So if you're <laughs> going out with just your homies, you can tell your partner and, and ask if that's okay. To me, to me, this is just my opinion. This is my opinion. Does that have to do a full time and part time? Wait, sure. let me explain. I'm not done. Can I, can I explain? <laughs> So, blah, 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 that's a full-time. A part-time to me is like, it's what Quran has. Meaning you guys don't see each other a lot. You guys don't text each other every day like that. Like, y'all text each other every day, but there, may, there might be two days where y'all don't text each other. Um, you don't feel the need to tell your partner what you're doing or ask for permission. The reason I'm asking this question is that there are some people, like, there's a girl that came, what do you say? I say he's trying to expose you, Karan. <laughs> no, nah, nah, I mean, <laughs> nah, like, not nah, like there's some girls that if you come to them, like there's some girls where like if you tell them like, oh, I just need some space, like you know, like yeah, I like you, but I'm not trying to see you all the time, like shit, like I like my alone time and stuff like that. They won't rock with it because there's some girls that want to see you like every day, bro. They want to live in your skin, and there's some men that 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 do that too. So the reason I'm asking you this because I, in my head, I I would think Karan is in a part time relationship. Well, no. What kind depends. of relationship is Karan in, actually? I just <laughs> while you were gone, I just uh, I told Dante. I think like, Milan would agree. If I said we were in a have a part time relationship, no, but I know people who are married and like it just depends on the type of people you are. Like I know people who are married and like they don't be sweating each other like that. Like. You still like tell them stuff, but you ain't got to tell them every single thing. That sounds whack. Like, but I that's mean, a full time. Wait, so you don't think you're in a, you don't think your relationship is part time? 
Because I think no, it is. I don't, I don't think it's part time, but I guess it's, it's since I don't live with her, I don't know if you can consider that. But um, maybe it just matters if like you live with them. No, I wouldn't no, consider bro. that. I wouldn't consider my relationship a part time relationship. Really. I, I, um, I think a part time relationship is like when y'all are in a talking stage and like y'all are like low key, maybe like not sure about the title and might be even talking to other people. But I would consider that a part time relationship. Nah, a part time relationship is that you only have probably seventy five percent of your focus is on her. In a full-time relationship, all your focus is on your partner. Bro, that don't even sound healthy to have all your focus on your partner. That don't <laughs> sound healthy at all, bro. People do it. Jaleesa, do you think your relationship is full-time or part-time? It is definitely part-time. That's how you feel? Yeah, yeah but you're saying part-time because of the way he's, the uh, like, his definition of it. Yes or yeah. no? Yeah, the way you're putting it, Dante, yeah, it would be part-time. But if you put it in a different perspective, like... What like you, in your perspective. Like, what what makes it part-time and not full-time? Talking to me? You're asking me? You're uh, asking Lisa, so. okay. me? No, not you. Like, why is it part-time and not full-time? <laughs> me or who? You, Jaleesa. Oh, oh, oh. A part-time... I feel like a part-time relationship is, like, people that are, like, they don't see each other all the time. That's how I see it. And a full-time is what? You see each other all the time? You're constantly seeing them, talking to them. I mean, yeah, that's how I see it. Because when me and Aaron first started dating, it was a full-time relationship. Because we would see each other every day, text each other every day. Now it's like, all right. I talk to you today already, so <laughs> I'm gonna talk to you tomorrow. I feel like that's how our relationship is. No one because I'd be like, like today. No, I'm just laughing at the cube. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's so funny. I'm just laughing at the cube. I'm sorry. What are you, what are you doing, Nikki? Nah, he do nothing. <laughs> I'm laughing at Karan. I'm laughing at Karan. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right, Karan, what did Nikki do? He ain't doing nothing. He anyway, nothing. Uh, interrupting me for no reason. I'm going to watch it later. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What was I saying? Well, like today, for what? example, like we were on FaceTime. This was like kind of like the first time we talked today. We were on FaceTime for like 30 minutes. And then I was like, all right, I'm about to do what I got to do. I'll talk to you whenever. He was like, all right, talk to you later. Bye. I love you. Like, I feel like. When people are in a part-time relationship, they already know what they have. I feel like full-time people feel like they're still searching to see, like, what is, are we really supposed to be together or, like, have that trust, that whole thing, that whole shenanigan thing where you know is real. Hmm. Y'all yeah, got, awesome. got completely different meanings than me. Oh, yeah. what, what, go ahead, Karen. So what's your meaning? Me? Yeah, you yeah. know. <laughs> no, I mean like so bro, you don't have you think a full time is only when you live with that person. Pretty much because but the thing is like because like Jalisha was saying, she thought she was in a quote unquote full time because they were talking to each other like every single day. Like just because you don't talk to each other and like you can still have things to do and like still like talk to them kinda often. They don't gotta be every day and you can still be in a full time mm-hmm. relationship. Like I feel like full time just means that, like, you all are in a serious relationship. Like, yeah. just because you don't talk to each other every day doesn't mean that you're not in a serious relationship. Nah, like, part time. Yeah, I like that idea better. Yeah, that's yeah. what I was trying to go to, but I couldn't word it correctly. But. Nah. No, I, I got you, Jaleesa. Nakeem, what are you doing? Um, I think, yeah, the way you're describing it is kind of skewed, just because. <laughs> It wouldn't be skewed. Sorry. <laughs> You're skewed. I like that word. I like that word. It wouldn't be it wouldn't be a, a a full-time relationship the way you're describing it unless they live together. Because then yeah. they'd be forced to see each other every day. I would hate that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Why? That's... <laughs> 
Trust me, if I only errand for one day, bro, all day, I'd be like, yo, I just want to get out of here. Like, I'm tired of talking to you. That's how it is. But we know that we really love each other and we want to be with each other. But it's just, when you're under each, when you're under each other all day, it's just like, ugh, you're just, but, you're just annoying. Like, after- but I think, but, okay, I think we can all agree that we don't like to be around our partner all the time, every time. So I think we got to think of it in other people's perspective. Like, we got to think of, it as people who do like to be with their partner every single time. What I'm saying, but I wouldn't consider right. that a full time. You wouldn't consider that full time? Nah, like what I agree with Nakeem saying, like it's it's skewed, like full time. It's just too like broad. Like, what do you mean? Like, you know. I'm trying to, I'm, cause I'm thinking of other people's perspective that aren't like us. That you know, we could be away from our partner no. from. You know what I mean, bro? I have a totally different perspective. I'm, I think I'm definitely alone in this, and I know I am. But you know, I'm not gonna. I really don't want to put all my business out. Damn, whatever. Okay, I'm definitely in the few where like I've been trying to get like my girl to move in. Like I've been like literally trying to convince them because like. I'm the type of person where I don't have to be up under you, like, all the time. Like, I want you to have hobbies. I want you to do whatever you want to do. Go out with your friends. Like, you don't have mm-hmm. to be under me. Like, mm-hmm. it's fine. Like, yo, even, like, when I was in Newburgh and living with Christina, like, it was mad cool. Like, you didn't always have to be, like, under each other. Like, yeah. you do your thing. She has friends come over. I have my friends come over. Mm-hmm. Or, like, if she wants, like, we can all go out if we want or, you know, like, you can have your freedom. It don't got to be like you don't have to be all up under your partner. That mm-hmm. sounds so trash to me. But I guess everybody's yeah. just different. Some people really like the attention or feel like they need to give their partner that attention when they're like around them. But mm-hmm. like, yeah, know, no, I gotta... couldn't agree with that. Yeah. I mean, I could live with Aaron. I could definitely live with him. But just like, I don't know, like, I don't need, like, if I live with Aaron, I don't need to talk to him every day, even if we're, like, near each other, like, in the same area or whatever. Like, I don't need to talk to him every I mean, day y'all don't have day. to have, like, an in-depth conversation every day. Like, y'all can just yeah. have, like, casual, like, yeah. talk. Like, yeah. you don't got to be a deep conversation every single day. That would get so annoying. I'd be mean, like, yo, why, why are we always in that situation talking about deep stuff? <laughs> talking about you my business. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I I I like the conversations. I don't know. I wouldn't mind. Yeah, you you yeah. would be annoying in a relationship. You'd be like, yo, let's talk about this. Yo, it'd be like two o'clock in the morning. Yo, yo, yo. Well, I can't. Oh, I know that's yeah, dumb. Yeah. Oh, that's me. That's that's me. A hundred percent, yo. That's yeah, me. A thousand percent. <laughs> that's what's like in the morning. I'd be asleep. But sometimes I just I don't even want you to talk to me. Like, yeah. just both sit here quietly. <laughs> like, Sometimes peace and quiet is the best thing. No, I feel. No, but I feel like you would be talking all day long. Like, nah, I wouldn't, bro. I wouldn't, bro. You should. Will, um, yo, you should hear the woman. That, no, the women that talk to me, they they know. Like, I'll be the type of nigga just sit there and play my video game, not even talk to you. You'll be in the back, just on your phone for like three hours. It'll be just like that. Well, take a video when you with Shorty next time. I want to see something. Oh, <laughs> that sounds crazy. Yo, it do sound take crazy. Video next time you with Shorty, I want to see something. <laughs> what you trying to see? If you if you gonna be talking, nah. Yeah. I mean, not nah, me. Her talk, me her talk, but she be chilling and I be chilling. So it's like, but you know, it's cool. Yeah, not to your shoulder keep disappearing. I know you see it, right? Like it <laughs> appears, it disappears. Oh. I think it's the way my camera is, bro. I'm trying no, to like get that thing. thing. My son got the real shoulder work, yeah. Feel me? <laughs> Dante like the shoulder, his, bro. No, Dante's laying on his bed like all of y'all. Y'all not sitting up straight. I don't have a desk, bro. That's the thing. I don't have a desk. I have a a dresser that could low-key do it, but it's, it's all good. Fun. You got the background, so you Gucci. Feel me? Yeah, um, <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna get a setup right for next time. Oh, gotcha. I like that. I like that. Wait, do y'all have tables in your room, like Karan and Nakeem? I don't. Um, I, 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 but I have a nightstand right now. The background isn't good. Yeah, I have a nightstand. 
I don't have a nightstand. I don't have my room is like a cubicle. Yeah. <laughs> no, but I'm, I mean, you can like do you do you have a hamper or something? No, I don't. Like <laughs> you can know. find anything. Like you could like Karate, if you yeah. have a little. Oh. You just gotta be creative, man. If you have like, I just have a chair, so I just brought in my chair and I'm like, I have it against my laptop. So like, if no. you have a hamper or you can have a little, bring a chair in and then put it on your bed, you know. Mm, okay. Come on, we gonna get it. Right, we gonna get it right for next time. Don't worry. I don't know. That this is good. Facts. Um, <laughs> well, since our hiatus, a lot of music has dropped. So I know today was a lot of good music. I didn't listen to any of them, so I'm slacking today. <laughs> Um, I just caught up with my music actually while I was away. So um, you heard the West Side Gun album? I didn't, bro. And niggas keep posting what? it. I heard it was fire, bro. It was fire. I heard it was fire. I heard he got good features on that shit. I heard he got Tyler and uh, Joey Badass on the track together. Wait, who? Uh, West Side Gun. You don't listen to West Side Gun, Julius. Yo, is this melodic know? rap again? Nah, this is rapidly rap. Yeah, What's so like, this is. No, this is aggressive rap right here. Facts. No, facts. but melodic. it's crazy. No, no it's, aggressive. Not, it's not melodic at all. Not no, melodic. it's not melodic. It's like melodic real song. New York. It's, you never yeah. heard of Griselda? It's like J. Cole rap. But hard. No, no, this album is different. And you know what's crazy? Tyler created Tyler the Creator, he actually produced uh two songs off of it. Y'all know uh Jay Versace? Like the yeah. dude from Instagram. I, I hung out with him in LA one time. Yeah. I remember that story. Yeah, he actually uh produced um a song called Versace. The song's actually really good too. And um they're actually doing that working on an album together. Like that's Jay Versace and West God? Yeah, like Jay that's Versace. So he, yo, nah, his his like he does like beats. He makes like really like boom bad like beats. Like he has really great taste in music. Like he's actually pretty fire. Who um, Jay Versace, right? Yeah. Yeah, Jay Versace, yeah. And so, he, in the West Side. How old is he again? He's like nineteen or no, yeah, he's, he's mad 20. young. And like he be listening to like old seventies music, I be like, yo, that's crazy. Yeah, he got so, like he's really dope. But yo, the album is just crazy, man. I love it. That's all I've been listening to. Word. I love it. I love it, bro. Um, like, I heard the division. Oh, anybody heard the the, the baby's album? Nikimi heard the baby's album. Bro, I didn't <laughs> listen to anything. <laughs> what have you been doing? You been home? <laughs> yep, all this time, bro. <laughs> Yo, I just been existing. I'm not gonna hold you. You've been what? Existing. That's not good, Nakeem. <laughs> I just been here, bro. <laughs> I even know it. The time is just going by. I don't even know what day of the week it is. Oh my bro, God. you about to come you about we about to take some hikes, bro. I'm about to get your ass out. <laughs> Yo, drag his ass out the house, Karan. That is. Bro. I've been trying to look at people like go on hikes and working out with bro. <laughs> now I'm about to start dragging people out the house, like pulling up the road. <laughs> I'm weak. I told you I'd be going outside, bro. I just be in the car and I, mm. <laughs> I go home. I'm weak. Um, well, you got money. We gonna talk off air, Nikki. We gonna talk off air. <laughs> <laughs> I'm weak. Nah, I heard this album by the baby wasn't that good. Apparently, I heard it flop. I didn't hear it though, so I can't be the judge of that. Like that party album that flop too. Don't talk about the king of R and B. Um, no, I can't believe you said that. <laughs> wait, we didn't get to that. You jumping the gun, Jaleesa. Tory Lanez dropped the track album. The you heard Tory Lanez album at least? <laughs> no, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. Uh, Division dropped the album. Yeah, there's actually been a lot of good like people dropping. It was alright. Uh, Thundercat yeah. dropped his his album that I liked actually. Wait, who? Thundercat. Oh, really? I didn't know. Yeah, he dropped his album. That I'll was download fire. it. Um, Thundercat. <laughs> That's not crazy. Yeah, he's not he's a crazy nigga, but that's my son. Jesse Ray has dropped a tr- album that was very good. Uh Conway Quran dropped the EP earlier this week. I think. Did he really? I mean yeah. they dropped so much, I don't even Yeah, he dropped the EP with Alchemist. That was actually good. Oh, that that was a while ago. That was um with the shark. The yeah. Shark the shark, yeah. I um, did hear that. Um yeah. Oh, it was like it was, it was like two songs from there. That was okay. And then the goat that Jaleesa want to dismiss, Party Next Door, dropped a fabulous album. You feel me? So I'm guessing Dante loves album, bro. It hit, bro. It hit. I was happy. Yeah, it I probably didn't, bro. I'm not gonna. Nah, hold you. it hit, bro. It hit. 
Yeah, you would like it again. You would like the album. I'm telling you, you would. Yeah. How's your vibe? The only song that I'm on good. there is PGT. That's like the PGT's only. PGT's vibe. PGT's vibe. Um, he kind of hit a. He kind of missed with the Rihanna. Rihanna feature though. I'm not gonna hold you. Rihanna didn't give a fuck. Rihanna just said like three words and she bounced. That's it. <laughs> Are you sure it's a good album, bro? I think it's like, good album. Don't even waste your time. I think it's a good album. Um, if you want to... Oh. No, it is. No, it is. No, you know, I think it's a good album. Because the last track is called Sp- Split Decision, I think. Split Decision, right? Yeah. So in that track, when I say he says everything that a man wishes he could say about a relationship, he says it. Like is that the song like where he's talking to? Uh, is that the song where he's talking to Kehlani? Yeah, about Kehlani. Talking about Kehlani and about like the whole what situation. Did he say for her? I can't even say it without sounding. Oh like, yeah, he, no, he was he was saying some crazy stuff. He said some, some disrespectful stuff. shit, bro. Yo, bro. So basically, what you're saying is that <laughs> the only song that's good is the last one. On the album. <laughs> I didn't say that. Even pinpoint which one? I said the standout it? track is the last song on the album. The whole album is flames, though. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> the whole album? The standout is the last one? Yeah. You gotta stand out from the beginning, man. <laughs> yeah, I would stop us <laughs> halfway through. I hear what you're saying. I hear what you're saying. You, Nakeem, yeah. you gotta remember, Dante is a cancer. He's gonna like Party Next Door regardless. Yeah, What's that supposed to remember, mean? We were talking about this when we, we were comparing Party Next Door in the weekend. I like Party Next Door features, but a whole Party Next <laughs> Your song? I don't know, man. <laughs> yeah, so you That's not true. That's not true. That's not true. Because you like, um, oh, I lied. He was featuring that song, Drake. <laughs> I mean, everybody got some slappers, though. Slappers. Yeah, like, I think part some of slappers. Slappers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. I think it's break, break to Toronto. I think that's like his number one played song ever. Yeah, and I say it was like a minute and 30 seconds. But it was really good. Not nah, his first couple albums, like that mixtape that he dropped when he first came out, was really good. Like every yeah. song on that, like "Welcome to the Party," mm-hmm. all those songs on there was good. Curious, like all those songs on there is like a, a banger. So listen, man, you gotta expand your mind, okay? Because "Party" comes out with fire. All right, <laughs> not anymore. Better than the after, Weekends album. After that, the Weekends third album. album. Uh, um, um, you know when the king just listen to it if you like it you like it. You don't, you don't. Yeah, this is, I know he's not we already talked about it so there's really no point <laughs> it's, three out of, it's three out of one saying it's trash sorry don't say I'm saying Karan never said it was trash well, I mean, look at him don't even know what to say <laughs> no I, I haven't been like really in the mood to like hear that type of music honestly it's like like I respect party, I respect like division, I respect Tory, the weekend. I mean, I wasn't like I'm not the biggest like. I if I hear if people talk about it enough and like people really say it's good, then I'll check it out. But if not, it's like if I hear it, I will hear it. Mm-hmm. You know? but, uh, maybe eventually. Yo, y'all. Um, there's mad new music coming out. Um, I mean, Dante might or Jaleesha might care about this. Mino's about to drop an album on four twenty. Oh, okay. Wait, who? What you Smino. want? Oh, the phone? You give me the phone. Wait, who? Who's dropping out? <laughs> Smino. Smino. You fuck with Smino? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually didn't know that, but... Yeah, he's dropping an album on 420. He is? Yeah. Oh, that's lit. 420. Smino's my son, bro. Is yeah, that that's like That's my Friday? son. Monday. It's like in two days, right? Monday? Yeah. Oh, is this Monday? Oh, it's on. Oh, it's, oh, it's lit. Oh, oh, yeah. Ooh, oh wait. Nice. This is what I wanted to ask you guys. What's up? So, what are people doing since... Like, people can't go to the movie theaters. Like, how are people making money off of, like, movies and stuff? Like, actors, actresses. Like, you ever wondered about that? Like, I don't give a fuck. I'm not going to hold you. But, I mean, um, what do you mean? Well, to, I mean, a lot of actors, like, have their content on, like, other services. Like, if it's Netflix or if they have a show on, Hulu, they'll still Amazon get it. Prime. But, like, yeah. how, how are, like, you know the movies that were supposed to come out? And mm-hmm. stuff like that. So, what are they doing with those? Like, well, a lot, a lot of actors get paid up front anyway. Actors and actresses. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, what? I say, why are you worried about actors and actresses? No, that's not what I mean. I mean, You're I'm just worried about your neighbors. That they <laughs> they rich enough. They be all right. No, <laughs> got a point. I'm, I'm saying well, she, like, she was just curious. 
like what is happening with these movies that were supposed to be out in theaters? Like they're on, are a they it? They're on standby right now. Yeah, yeah, no, they'll just they'll just get pushed back. Like actors, they get paid up front for the movies and like whatever the box office does, that goes to like the bigger company. But actors themselves they'll get paid uh, a fee up front. But um the the movies will just get pushed back to another date. Or if they'll drop, they'll probably release on like a streaming service like Netflix or Hulu that's what they should do. Somewhere. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm <laughs> who I was talking to about this, but they should um like AMC should make their own app and do something where it's like um like they have apps like uh, Voodoo where it's like you rent the movie, but mm-hmm. so they should do something like that, charge a little bit less, and you can just watch the movie in your crib. You know what I mean? Be fine. Charge yeah. like ten bucks to watch the movie. Yeah. You know, I'm sure that's coming soon. Like that yeah. stuff is that's like expensive to do. So I'm sure they're working on stuff like that now. Nah, it's not really expensive. I think the only problem is they're trying to figure out a way that they could um get like, the content. Yeah, not have the movie get pirated. Yeah, that's tricky. But um, yeah, they can get the content. They'll be fine, Alicia. Don't worry about them. <laughs> oh, I'm not worried. I was just trying worry to- about me. <laughs> no, we not we not worried about you, Nikki. We you getting your checks on time. I know that. <laughs> Yo, Dante, you laying down? Yeah, bro. We just talked about this. <laughs> that, yo, it looks like you're sitting up with the background. I'm in the crib, bro. Look at that. I'm seeing the pillow popping up now. <laughs> I was like, yo, why is your show? <laughs> yo, I don't know why he keeps. Hold on, let me get a closer view, man. Ah, right, there we go. Look, it's still shows, bro. Yo, I really <laughs> thought you were sitting up the whole time. <laughs> I'm just sitting up like that with the laptop in my lap. Yeah, why not? That's the laptop. Laptop. <laughs> Uh, that's exactly what it's supposed to be. I like the way you think, bro. <laughs> like the way the people that invent a laptop stick. <laughs> Yo, I hate the game, bro. <laughs> so, so, um, the social media has been pretty. No, no, let's not speak quarantine. that. Laptop. <laughs> Try to make it seem so foreign <laughs> that his laptop would be in his lap. <laughs> like, yeah, not- say that. Well, I mean. Well, before you came, we spoke about this. We knew this already, but uh, no, 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 but it's still like he was like, "Where'd you think it was my lap?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> like, okay, we try to change well, topics. You still talk about laps and laptops. Well, no, no, laptops you try to, yo, you try to make something that's crazy. <laughs> well, the laptop is in my lap. Like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> oh, it's not in his lap. <laughs> it's on my lap, bro. It's on my lap. It's yeah, on my it lap. That's what I'm saying. It's on his lap. It's on my lap. Niggas. <laughs> Come on, it's in you, bro. Look at me. Um, on my lap, yeah. laptops. <laughs> Y'all been uh, catching up on any, I don't know, it's been pretty late on IG and Twitter, I guess. I don't be on Twitter oh, like that. Wait, but... wait, before we get into that topic. <laughs> hey, no respect for you, bro. <laughs> I know, right? That's crazy. <laughs> no respect for you. Don't worry go about ahead. my seg- my segues aren't important. Go ahead. Go ahead. Nah, I just wanted to bring up this one thing. What's up? Y'all have Prime Video. Prime Video? Like, Dante does, right? Prime. Yeah, I got it. Y'all gotta watch True Blood. That's everybody's homework. So we can all talk about it. True if it's, Blood. If it's on YouTube, I'll watch it. Probably, but it's on Prime. If you have, if you have Amazon Prime, you have Prime video. Is it a movie? Show. No, it's a show. How many episodes? How many seasons? Yeah. How many episodes? Seven. Seven seasons? Seven. Seasons or episodes? <laughs> Bro, seven seasons. Yeah, it's not. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's our homework? Out. Good, I'll watch it. That's our homework? Yes, at least just watch the first season. Y'all got nothing to do. <laughs> Are you right about that? Dude? I watched a couple of minutes of the first episode. Hey, yo. <laughs> yeah, if it's good, I'm gonna keep watching it. But if it's not, I'm not, not gonna right. Watch it. <laughs> I'm gonna watch like the first thirty minutes of an episode and see if it's good. Bro, I'm gonna watch the first ten minutes and make my decision. Nah, you can't even base it off ten minutes on the show, bro. Yeah, I can. No, you really no, can't. No, you can't. No, you, no, you can't. can't. No, you can't. You can't. Not ten minutes. I Some shows sort of mad slow, bro, and then yeah, no, you know. no, slow. Like I don't, I usually don't base it off of like if it's in the ten minutes, I don't base it off of the um the storyline because you don't learn anything. 
Uh-huh. I base it off of like the acting and how oh, they're okay. sitting in lines and shit like that, okay. and like the camera quality, the video quality. If shit's not looking right, <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> I now, you know a show <laughs> that's like that with me is you. Every time I try to watch that show, you, I cannot get past the first episode because I'm like, yo, this is so trash. Yeah, yeah. see, I watched the, the bad? season of you, but I can't bring myself to go watch the second season. Why, the acting's bad? Um, it, I, I don't even know if I want to say it's bad because it wasn't necessarily bad. The guy was just so weird. So it just seemed bad. Wait, you, right? Yeah, you. Yeah. Wouldn't that mean he did a good job as an actor if he came off weird and creepy? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's why I kept watching it because I think he was just doing a good job as an actor. Mm. He was just mad weird. So, like, the way he said his lines, it sounded kind of, like, stiff. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. But it was trash to me. I just couldn't. Yeah. It wasn't comparable to anything in my life. Nah, it wasn't like everything. The video quality, the acting was all right, but the storyline was kind of trash. <laughs> we we, <laughs> we not respect the Quran and shit at all. Bro. No, I, <laughs> no, I, I'm, I'm I trying to say that. No, 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 I don't. I don't watch like a lot of shows, so I'm I'm out of this. <laughs> <laughs> nah, um, Quran. I've seen a lot of IG lives actually. Um, <laughs> oh, have I, you finally, I finally saw my first quarantine radio. That shit was trash. Quarantine, quarantine, quarantine. Now nah, you got. Nah. nah, it was funny, nah. and I only watched ten minutes of it. I saw the one with Alexis Texas, and when they had that shorty on, um, the white girl that they have everybody on. <laughs> I forgot her name, bro. Oh, um, not the white girl, um, the girl that oh, the video where it um <laughs> got shut down for like a day. She they had the shorty on there with the long tongue. And she like <laughs> deep throw the whole dildo and shit like that. Oh no! Quarantine, quarantine, quarantine. We be telling people. I don't know what her name is, but I seen that one, and I was like, eh, "It's okay." I mean, I like it. You know, it's fun. <laughs> I it's bet you do. Ass, you know what I mean? But I don't watch it every day because I don't follow Tory Lane number one. Number oh two. no. He is. Uh, th- he was so irrelevant before this, and now that oh. he's been doing this, <laughs> stop, all about, stop it, all about irrelevant. Yeah. Yeah, irrelevant. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I never yeah. listened to one Tory Lanez. You listen to anybody? Chicks tape? You ain't ever hear chicks tape? Who? <laughs> oh, okay, nah, we can't have the conversation. At least <laughs> don't listen to nobody that ain't fucking no. um Reggie Snow. If they ain't Reggie Snow, she ain't listening to them. I told you from the beginning that. I never listen to mainstream music. I never, unless it's like somebody I really like. Like, all right, I'm you're such a you're such a hipster, man. Huh? You're OD hipster, you're OD hipster, yo. <laughs> yeah, she, she's hyped about that. OD. Uh, um, what was I gonna say? Karan, what have you watched? What IG lives you watch, sir? I said a question, but what IG lives you watch, sir? I mean. I've been watching like the battles and stuff. I don't really watch like people's IG lives unless they're battling, um, or they're DJing. Like I've been watching like I saw the D Nice thing live when he was DJing. It was mad oh, people. Yeah. I saw the uh, the RZA and uh DJ Premier thing. That shit was dope. I was damn. I, was, I missed that, bro. I'm like yeah, but I'm like an OD hip hop dude. So like I was just getting hyped hearing mad shit. Like I got put on a mad song because of that. So I was just hearing. It. I'm like oh damn. Like he was playing like old Jay Z stuff from like the early '90s and mm-hmm. just like just nerd hip hop shit like that. So did, did you know. guys I've been watch enjoying the Diddy videos, the Diddy IG lives? Not live, but I saw like the recaps. I guess. Yeah, I saw the recaps. They were funny. He was on live with <laughs> Dre, I think. Dre, I yeah, Dre. Look at Jaleesa with the segues. Look at her. Okay, Jaleesa came back. Um. But yeah. I said it on Twitter. I didn't watch it. They were clowning. They were calling Diddy. They were. They would say Diddy was fat shaming because he didn't let Lizzo twerk, but he let uh, <laughs> Dreya twerk. Which I think people are reaching too deep for that. Personally, for me, like if Diddy don't want to see Lizzo twerk, then he don't want to see Lizzo twerk. <laughs> that's saying. all of it. That's God, it. My God, my God, my. Yeah. <laughs> you don't have to fat shame just to just say you have a preference. Like I don't think that's fat shaming to me. It's like if Lizzo, if if I want to see Lizzo twerk, then I want. 
I want to see Dre, then it is what it is. Like, that's it. I mean, that's kind of messed up. Like, you How just had a girl. Tw- it is messed up, yeah. You just, had a girl tw- you just had a girl. Tw- and he tried to lie about it. Like, he was like, yeah. oh, it's crazy. I didn't hear him so, lying about like, it. Yeah, he, <laughs> I don't know why he lied about it. He should have been straight up. But then, if he was straight up, then they would have killed him even more. So, like, he had to lie about it to not be killed. But just let it rock. <laughs> just let it rock. Dude. True. Yeah. He could have let it rock. All he had to say was, like, you know, I see, I seen Lizzo twerk on on Tory Lanez's live, but Dre, you know what I mean? I was trying to see something. <laughs> I hear that. That's it right there, yeah. No, you could have just said that. <laughs> that what's, wrong, what's wrong with Lizzo? No, nothing's wrong with Lizzo. Can you just hear me? Listen, uh, <laughs> he wasn't he wasn't trying to see Lizzo twerk. He wasn't trying to see it again. He already saw it on Tory Lanez's live. <laughs> But why not see it again? Because he didn't want to. <laughs> he said that shit was trash. <laughs> he said that shit was trash. About soda. Trash. But what if it was the other way where Drea was on Tory Lanez and then you see how that works? It would never work. The line just... I, mean, that was just not I don't know. It didn't happen like that. that. I would just say that, honestly, because we're <laughs> fat. And it's not... It's not... Like, she, she is fat. So. But it's not even about her being fat. It's the fact that it's plain Diddy just didn't want her to twerk. Like, I don't know why people are bringing up fat into the equation. That's I mean, but he let other her, right? But he... He's, he's not attracted to Lizzo. He's just not attracted to her. He didn't want to see her move nothing. He just wants to talk to her. He to, that's <laughs> all. That's what it comes down to. nothing. Yeah. <laughs> no, what, chill, if bro, chill. what if Lizzo was fat? Because Lizzo I just wanted that. Then he would probably encourage it. I mean... I don't know. I don't know. Maybe he just you don't even know attracted. what you're What? He just probably he wasn't. Should, Lisa. Wait, what happened? What? He said, what if Lizzo wasn't fat? Like, would he still want her to twerk? I mean, I don't yeah. know if he would still be attracted to Lizzo if she wasn't fat. Maybe not. Maybe he just doesn't like her attitude. And just... well, I think it was because she was fat. Let's, let's... If it makes you feel better, Lisa, Lizzo could come twerk on my life. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Well, do you, you think... So you think Lizzo is attractive, Nakeem? Me? Yeah. <laughs> yes, me? She's all right. <laughs> She's straight. Because you said you, said you were like Lizzo twerk. Yeah, she famous. <laughs> all right, well, what if she was famous? Do anything for the clout. Do anything for the clout. What if she wasn't famous? <laughs> Yo. Then now she can't twerk on her life. Yeah, cause see, cause the no. is because she's fat. <laughs> it's so <a> fat. <laughs> yeah. See, all right. So what if he did? <laughs> Yo, the key, the key a shit, bro. The key ain't really shit. not. Yo, <laughs> what's the point then, bro? But all right, but see, but that's oh what he Diddy was probably thinking. Like, I don't want her. Like, she doesn't even look good because of the way she looks. <laughs> but how do you know that? How do you know that, Julie? So how do you know that he doesn't because have he's a thing to be? Every other girl and Tory Lanez <laughs> and every other girl that's not. That's not true because Tory Lanez like, let Lizzo twerk, bro. Don't but also he did. Yeah, Tory yeah, he did. Yeah. That's yeah. why he was having. Oh, oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Exactly. Yeah, Lizzo was getting crazy on Tory Lanez's live. Yeah, he was they were. He liked it. Yeah, he so. grabbed the milk and all that. Oh, I was about to ask. Did she bring up the milk? Yo, y'all need to stop <laughs> wasting milk. She had the yeah, yeah, milk. I'm about to say they gotta stop wasting milk for that she shit. Had the, she had the chocolate almond milk. Matter of fact. Ooh, I think okay. that's I think a good she had the chocolate almond milk. That's Somebody a good choice, right almond milk. <laughs> Why not almond milk? They yo. They be trying to get the milk and all that. Like, for what? Are you trying to put a... Y'all, y'all wasting $6 some... a card on the milk. Saying. It's a pour on your butt. Well, it's hard to get it right now. Everything locked down. I'm saying. And it's, and it's milk. It's not even non-dairy. They're using I, milk. I think it's something something about men. Men just like to see women pour any type of liquid on them. I don't know why. Yeah, no. <laughs> it's weird. Men but... just like that. Especially milk. I don't know why milk. Let's start something else. Let's let's do candle wax or something. Pour candle wax on it. Now, you pour that. some candle wax on your butt and you still twerking, I'll give you props. I'm not gonna hold you. That's yeah, your skin about to it's skin about to melt, right? I'm saying are you still twerking through all that? No. Yeah. They can't do that though. That'd be giving away all the tricks. 
Mm. Bro, she pouring candle on her wax on herself, hot wax on herself on live. And she's still twerking after that, bro. That takes skill, doesn't it? You the biggest freak. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, <laughs> you the biggest what? freak? Biggest. Mm. Yo, I, I do have a question for the single men in here. What's up? Um, I'm partial y'all continue. Oh, Dante snitched on himself. Really. <laughs> God damn. My God, no, no. I, was, I was gonna ask y'all, like, how do y'all, like, are you guys talking to, like, women or, like, meeting up with women still? How do y'all, you know, <laughs> are y'all doing that at all? How do you get your shit off? Like, are you still hanging around? Or are you actually, like, making sure you quarantine? I'm everybody? actually quarantined myself. Um, I haven't been around women, really. Mm. Um, I saw Rachel the other day, but that's about it. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, I've just been chilling. Like, I just be texting, FaceTiming, phone calls. Yeah. That's how you get um, my shit off? Yeah, that's how I get my shit off, bro. Nah, in, the, in the beginning, in the beginning, I was still, I was doing, still doing little link-ups. <laughs> you know <what> I'm <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. Yeah. Talk about it, King. Talk about it. Yeah. But then, then I thought there was a curfew after, uh, <laughs> so I stopped going out. You got nervous. That's a fact. And now <laughs> Corona got me nervous, bro. <laughs> Every day I feel something. I'm like, uh, I'm sick. So, I, <laughs> like I said, I'm either in the house or in the car. Well, that's a responsible thing to do. So, I mean, very responsible. I'll give you, I'll give you props yeah. for that. Kind of paranoid right now. Nikeen paranoid. Wow. That I was just talking to my mom today that a lot of people that didn't have like anxiety and all this stuff going on is now actually showing a lot more people than usual. So you probably have anxiety, Nikki. Everybody has anxiety. Or like, you know, maybe depression or any other. No, I don't think Nikki's depressed. Are you depressed, Nikki? <laughs> I'm not saying that Nikki is depressed, but I'm talking in general. Like people like if you're not interacting, you can only go for so long without interacting with people. We're we're social species, so we have to be around people. We have to be around. Nah, I hear you. I'm not gonna hold you. This quarantine is definitely testing who who is really an introvert and who's not a or who is a uh, extrovert. I'm not gonna hold you. Yeah. I think I'm. It's safe to say that I'm an introvert. You know what I mean? Karan's not an introvert as much as he thinks. He's an extrovert. No, like, I'm cool not seeing people. I'm just tight. Everything's, like, closed. Like, mm. and there's yeah, nowhere to, like, go. I mean, I like being out by myself. Like, I don't like necessarily being out with people or talking to people. Mm. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. But, um. but back to the team. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, we're not done with the TV. <laughs> I, mean, TV bro. I mean, talking, you just said everybody has anxiety, but I mean, you you have been um, away from people for about a month now. You don't think that's like affected you in a way? You don't think um, that like caused you to have more anxiety at all or you're showing more anxiety than before? I mean, not I mean, really. A lot. No, nah, a lot has happened. Like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, <Wait, laughs> <me>, bro. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. I was I don't know. Word. You were saying something else, and then you were like, "A lot, a lot had this happen." No, just like with this whole pandemic thing and like quarantine, like a lot has happened, and that just was going on. So you don't think you have anxiety or? Um, not really, because like I've been all? like I'm chilled with people, but it's like it's like the same two people, hmm. like Justin. Like I chill with Justin. <laughs> But I chill with Justin because I know he don't got a car and his parents got him on lockdown. Yeah, you just gonna expose his business like that? I'm saying, bro. So if he's going <laughs> I'm to say it, bro. <laughs> if he's going anywhere. It's but like, doesn't that give you relief that he's not going anywhere? Like so much relief. <laughs> oh, I see. So if it was like me or Karan, you wouldn't be that jump to hang out with us because you know Karan be out. I'm- I'd be safe. I don't be around people. Karan be moving. Nah, Karan be out, bro. I'm you just have, like, a party. Karan be pulling up on me. I'm even, I'm even dapping him up. I know. <laughs> He's acting different now. Like, For real? Is that, it got you like that now? Bro, I, I ain't even getting it. his car no more. Wow. But Karan, didn't nah, you, you know like what? a party this week? 
like a martini or no oh, it was just it was party. three it was three people like it wasn't yeah, like it was an actual party people. Yeah, that's yeah. Right. That's right. bro Looking one like, lived in you, bro one person lived in the house two nah, people it's lived not in the house that. you know the was that did it it was uh it was Jalisha. Yeah, you you gave people a scare. Cause, oh yeah, yeah. this is scare. Oh, you know, Rock came mm-hmm. and told me he was like, he was like, yeah, yo. Oh, so now you now you snitching. Day and she <laughs> told us that she what's it called? She might have. Now the key is snitching. Now the key. <laughs> <laughs> and y'all was scared. We all <laughs> snitching on each other. That's crazy. I was That's crazy. Like, <laughs> so, Karan, you went and told everybody that. <laughs> that is... <laughs> you had to warn us. What you mean? I just told I just told our um, co-workers, just the co-workers. Not gonna lie, if we if we kept doing the podcast in person, I probably would have never showed up because I'm not I'm not trying to meet up with you what what you guys because no. it's risky. Cause like I said before, like people are asymptomatic, so some of y'all could have it and not even know. Mm. But one it's, it it'll take one of us to react to it. That's a fact. That's a yeah, fact. I check my temperature like every day. Yo, <laughs> that's <laughs> good, crazy. Hold <laughs> you, bro. I got a thermometer right over there. Y'all want to see it? <laughs> nah, I believe you, bro. I got my hand sanitizer it. right here. <laughs> bro, you are home. You're not even going over here, bro. It's in the bed. <laughs> that's crazy. Y'all you know, know, bro. Bro. Sometimes you, sometimes you just feel like your hands are a little dirty. <laughs> you just squirt, bro. I'll tell you. This man's probably washing his face with hand sanitizer. <laughs> Yo, bro. <laughs> but does that kill it? It has to yeah, stay on the bottle if it kills it. Yeah, I was with Justin another day. And we went through, we drove through, um, through Curious Joe. Like, we drove by it because we were in Monroe. Yo. The niggas out there, right? <laughs> Yo, I put hand sanitizer on my hand. <laughs> face. I was like, Yo, because <laughs> the windows are open. And then uh, I got to pass please. some juice. That's not nice. All right, Nikki. All right. Oh, cause they have a high rate over there too. I think. Yeah. yeah yo, crazy. My, yo, we passed some. We rolled the windows up, but my upper lip started itching. <laughs> <laughs> boundaries, boundaries, <laughs> boundaries, boundaries, yeah. boundaries. That's why. Yeah, I put some hair sanitizer on my face. Yeah. I'm <laughs> weak. <laughs> yeah, I was like, it's trying to attack me, bro. So I'm, yo, the, the corona is on me. Yo, please. <laughs> Yo, were they walking near the car or not? <laughs> were they walking near the car? Yeah, they were. They walk on the side of the road. So we're driving by, and the Corona flew in the window. <laughs> oh, no. This is on my lip. Oh wait, oh, wait. Like, are you still? Wait, oh wait, wait. Was there were still people like out walking and stuff. The Jews, bro, they don't care. Yeah, the Jews have been out here. Walking. No, but was it six feet? Was it six feet? Away? Were they walking six feet away from Nah, you? niggas was like what? one feet away. Niggas don't care. You ain't seen the videos of um Williamsburg? What happened? They had a funeral. There was like a thousand of them outside. <gasps> oh yeah, I seen that. Yeah. All right, we're not gonna we're not gonna talk bad on Jewish people on yeah. Hasidic Jewish people. Shout out to shout out shout out to all the Hasidic Jewish people. Uh, everybody. <laughs> No, no, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. No, no. I'm not going to save you on this one. Y'all need to put on no. some masks and some gloves. No, everybody needs to stay safe, though. Everybody should be safe. But wait, hold on, Nakeem. They safe. weren't wearing no masks during that. Yeah, I'm trying to get us off of the no, subject. They're not should. wearing nothing. They said God's going to keep them safe. But that's all wow. true. It's not just synagogues. Because I just saw something about this guy and... um. Washington DC, he was like a big time pastor and he just kept having like <laughs> you know what? Forget it. <laughs> no, no, no. Keep going. I'm listening. He kept having the, the what's it called on Sunday. But yeah, yeah. What is it called? I forgot. I don't go to church, but um service. 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 You're not about to eat that shit right now. Uh, <laughs> yo, do your thing, bro. <laughs> no, y'all got me hungry now. <laughs> nah, and then and then he yeah. died from it like a couple a couple of days later. And 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 also infected everybody in the church. So all of them so, got it. Like the least of jobs. Oh, Monroe. Huh? Cool. Monroe has like six hundred cases or more. 
Listen, y'all got anything else to talk about? They got coronavirus. That's crazy. Y'all got anything else to talk about besides Corona? What else is there to talk yeah. about? Yeah, that's exactly. like the main thing right now. Karan, what episode Bro. is this, man? I'm off it. It don't matter, man. <laughs> it don't no, matter. Like, I mean, Dante, you have to watch the news at least once a day. Just to Yo, inform yourself. We back on here tomorrow? It's the Corona Chronicles? <laughs> Corona Chronicles. <laughs> Corona Chronicles. <laughs> All right, so this concludes episode 61 of The Soapbox. Uh, I want to thank everybody listening on Apple, Spotify, and YouTube. Um, I want to thank my crew for podding still, even through the quarantine and the safety of their homes, you feel me? <laughs> What's crazy? <crazy? laughs> is always laughing. Um, no, y'all just laid me, y'all better. Wait, before, wait, before we end this, what was y'all laughing at? <laughs> y'all probably laid him on bed. I was what? <laughs> what was y'all laughing at before Karan started laughing and you started laughing and then I guess Nakeem did something. So, what was y'all doing? We was laughing at both of y'all. What happened? <laughs> we're gonna watch the video and you're gonna see why we laugh. And this has been episode 61 of uh, the Soapbox podcast. Please follow us on uh, Spotify. Oh, you did. You just said I that, did right? do that. Oh, okay. Yes. Shout out to this everybody. Box, so <laughs> <laughs> All right, we gonna have that. Yeah, you gonna have to get that drop, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I got you, bro. It's the soapbox. Soapbox. <laughs>